Hi guys, welcome. This is our weekend reading for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, October 7th, 8th, and 9th, 2016. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, praying about. We're all children of God. We're all psychic. We're not all going through the same thing. So see what feels right for you. Um, it could be one sign that brings you clarity. It could be the whole reading. It could make sense later. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everyone involved in the situation and so on. So we're all uplifted in love. See how it feels for you. How you ride these energetic waves that come through here is always up to you in the end. Is it your wave? Is it not your wave? Are you waiting for another wave? Preparing for the wave, crashing into the wave, riding that wave or ignoring the wave? Um, also feel free to make this an interactive video with me if you want to pull some cards for yourself and try to check out the links that I provide below and see if they bring you more signs and symbols for this reading and show your love and support to the artists below. All right, I'm going to begin with the animal oracle today. Let's see what God, source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels and energies of love have for October 7th, 8th, and 9th, 2016. One card for focus, clarity, understanding the energies, how to ride these energies best. One card for the highest, greatest good of all. Or a pig. So face your problems head on with confidence and courage, and you will emerge victorious. Stamina. I just hear stamina with this. Like, just make it happen, make it work. Know that you are strong, know that you are bold, know that you can do this. You know, you can accomplish this goal, you can achieve what you're like striving towards. Um, I hear, I just hear stamina, like stamina, strength, endurance, stability. Um, yeah, being tough, being wise, um, being smart, uh, and just tackling your problems. Like no procrastination, just get what you need, to, get done what you need to do. Start doing something, pursue, uh, move take action all right so I'm gonna go to the actually I'm gonna go to the Thalima tarot let's get another card let's get more clarity on the boar the pig facing our problems head-on having confidence having courage um, I, I see like somebody putting on their superhero outfit like they're like you're um, uh, I want to say like under ruse you know like you're yeah, like your like underwear superhero outfit on. Like put on those put on those magic under you know, those magic pair of underpants that you have, the good luck underpants kind of thing. You know, that help you give get the superpowers. That was so weird for the boar. Maybe you guys have like, you know, like special underwear or <laughs> special socks. Something like that. Something like that sort of hidden underneath that gives you a little boost. You know, it gives you that little extra luck today. <laughs> that was sort of a, <laughs> that was so weird. Sometimes my, I don't know where my head takes me. So maybe some of you have like some little good luck thing, you know, sort of tucked underneath, tucked away, and it makes you sort of feel a little bit like a superhero. I feel like you need to like embody that superhero, you know? Embody your talents, take hold of your talents, take hold of your skills, you know, what you're good at. Know your strengths. Know that you're strong. Know that you're going to win this. I mean, this is a strong, victorious card. I almost feel like it's like the chariot. Or like this, you know, victory makes me think of like the six of wands. Um, yeah, let's get a card for the weekend. The page of wands. So starting something new. Maybe you're at the beginning of this. 
you know, or you felt young, this could be a message, like a message that brings you passion, um, a message that is like uh, an opportunity, an opportunity to start something creative, you know, like to start a new job that involves your spirit, um, start uh, maybe a new relationship even. I mean, Page of Wands is a younger energy. I see a salamander here. Maybe a salamander is like a totem animal. Um, I think of fire and water and earth with the salamander, but first fire, um, like an actual fire. Um, so you're like on hot coals with something. You're getting like something revving up you're getting like I feel like you're standing on the fire it's not really hot yet it's just sort of warm it's like you're on the hot coals and you're ready to transform when I see a salamander I think of transformation so when I see this page I think of this page transforming into an adult into that king of wands so we could be just young in something that we're starting here just know that eventually we're going to grow up into the page of, I mean, in the page of wands is going to grow up into the king or the queen of wands. But um, maybe you're inspiring somebody young around you. This could be your child, somebody you know. Um, this is either a younger fiery energy around you like a Sagittarius, Aries, Leo energy. I feel like it could be a moon energy, not necessarily a sun sign, but like uh, a fiery heart, fiery emotions, passionate emotions kind of thing. Like they act on their passions. They act on what makes them inspired. He or she inspired. Um, inspired to learn something. Um, inspired to like, yeah, almost like take a class, like get started with something, create something. I see somebody, um, uh, like as a lead singer of a band here, maybe you have a Maybe you were like in a band when you were younger. You were the lead in a band or in a band. I feel like, you know, there's, I keep getting this band theme. Um, so maybe you're taking the lead on something, you know, you're starting young, you're growing up, you're growing into a situation, you're learning about a situation. Um, I'm gonna go to the art of life. Let's get more clarity on the page of wands for the weekend. Um, I keep seeing like hot coals and flame and creation so I feel like there's like an idea inside of you and you're ready to just step on that fire ready to just step on that heat of that energy here and feel it go up into your feet up into your body like you know reach your head into the staff and then just you're gonna walk forward with this idea. I feel like you're stepping into something. You're stepping onto something. You're beginning something. You're starting from the bottom and working your way up on something. So I feel like the page represents that idea, that start, that invitation, you know, that chance to do something new, that chance to create something. But I feel like you just feel it in your soul, feel it in your feet. Feel it, you know, almost like you were grounded before and this thing is like lifting you up, like levitating you up a little bit with this heat. It's that thing that you feel like you need to move towards, like it's lifting you off. Um, that was sort of an interesting turn with the Page of Wands. I, I'm getting a lot of heat and young energy and growth. So, and transformation. Ideas, inspiration, creation. You know, inspiration. Let's get another card for the boar, the pig, facing your problems, page of wands for the weekend. The magician. So it's about taking those ideas that you can see in the ether, you can feel inside your gut. You feel it inside of you and it's time to move. It's time to take action. That's the magician. It's a one. It's up to you to take everything that you feel inside of you and everything you see outside of you and manifest it. You know, take those ideas and plant those seeds to make them real. Look at your skills. Look at your talents. Look at the tools you actually have around you that you can use. You know, like actual physical tools even. 
if it's not skills and like in the ether and something like in the now that you do, it's something you can grab and touch and feel and put your hands into and actually work on. You can make magic this weekend. You can make magic from what you, you know, out of what you see in your head and make it real, something you can feel. It's a brand new start. This is starting something new. It's telling you whatever you're starting here is going to be victorious, but it takes that start. It takes you turning on the, the engine and moving, pressing the gas, getting it going. Um, I just see color. I see so much color here and I see an iris. I don't know if that's an iris, but I feel like he's holding an iris or a lily, but I want to say iris. This is Opus 217 against the enamel of a background, rhythm, rhythmic with beats and angles, tones and tints. Oh, that's awesome. Portrait of Felix Fenanen, 1890 by Paul Sinek, 1890, Museum of Modern Art, New York, USA. And it's William Henry, I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. I think of, oh, captain, my captain. It's like you can hear that music. You can see that music. You can feel that music. Um, it's like the music is breathing. Um, patterns, rhythm, tone. Yeah, tones like, um, I just see music, feel music, hear music all together. It's taking all of those senses that you have. You know, what do you do? Do you hear? You know, are you sensitive to what you hear? Are you sensitive to what you feel? Are you sensitive to what you see? You know, can you see patterns? You know, do you feel like you see music somehow? Um, I feel like there's a combo of senses here. There's a combination of senses in that's internalized inside of you and then uh, magnified outside of you in this creativity. All right, I'm gonna go to one more card from the Angel Tarot for the weekend. And let's get some clarity to sum up the Magician, the Page of Wands, and the Boar. You know, having strength, being the master of your fate, the captain of your soul. Let's get one more card for focus, clarity, and understanding. Three of Earth. So, this is you working with other energies and starting something new, seeing the bigger picture, um, working really well with others, others getting on board with you once you take this start, once you start to make, you know, take some action with something. I feel like you're going to be victorious because others get on board. You work well with others. You're making good plans in the beginning. It's like you can see the plans in your head and you're putting them down. And I see like actual blueprints. Maybe some of you are designing a house, you know, designing like uh, interior design, something like that, stage design, something like that, something where you can see the bigger picture and then focus it on a smaller set. I'm hearing a set. So maybe you do lighting or film or, you know, video, something like this. And you're moving around your sets, moving around your lighting. Maybe you're going outside this weekend, taking a walk in nature, going to the mountains, going to the water. I feel like you're transforming here. Look at that big, badass butterfly. It's like you crawled to this mountain as a caterpillar and you're leaving as a butterfly. You know, you're lifting yourself above the situation. I feel like you're grounded. This is the three of earth. It's creativity, full force, what you're getting your hands into and doing. It's the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work. And it's being a team player, high five. You know, it's working with other, others, getting on board, you know, starting to merge energies together so they expand and grow and bring you, I hear fruition, uh, abundance, opportunities. I feel like, you know, it's a conversation you have sitting down at dinner with someone, sitting down, um, you know, for coffee with somebody and having this idea and brainstorming together, merging this idea, making another phone call, you know, setting up a meeting, um, going to see another friend and just like getting the idea out there. I feel like you start with speaking, 
about what you feel inside of you, what's in your head, what you see, inspirations and um, conversations, you know, between you and someone else help get that ball rolling, give you that boost, you know, to make it happen. Like that high five, that little like slap in your ass to get it moving. Um, I see like you having like, you know, like, like secret superhero underwear on underneath your little outfit, you know, so that you can get this accomplished. Like let the superhero come out in you this weekend. I hope this was helpful for you guys. It looks like it's a beautiful weekend. You know, you're starting something new. You're creating something huge. It's going to start small like a thought and it's going to be beautiful when it rolls out into this world and presents itself in front of you and you're a part of this. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.